All right, howdy y'all. Today I'm gonna show you how to import a Autodesk InfoWorks model into Civil 3D to get your contour lines for existing ground. So what we wanna do first is that we wanna go ahead and get the model. Uh, so we're gonna go to Model Builder and we're gonna go try to find our site. Um, you can click here to kind of get an aerial view of what we're, what we're trying to go to. So I don't know exactly where the site is, but this can be used for like basically any any site that you're, you're trying to build a model upon. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, you, you have multiple options. You can draw a rectangle, draw a polygon, or you know, if you you wanna import a polygon, you can. This is like most like a KMZ file or something like that, but we're just gonna go ahead and, and uh, draw a rectangle. Start from one end, go to the other. And what you wanna do is you wanna kinda get like your, your contours here. You know, you wanna, you know, get some existing rows that are on the sides or whatnot. Then you want to give it a name. You, know, you can name it Steven 250 uh, Final Presentation 2. I already have one already ready to go, so you don't have to wait here and see that. Uh, you want to ensure that you're going to be using the correct coordinate system. We're going to be using Texas 83 CF NED, right? We're going to go ahead and give it that. You can give it a description if you want or uh, video use, right, or whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and create the model and then it'll take a few minutes. You'll get an email and something like that. But basically I already have it downloaded already here. This is kind of what you're gonna be looking at right here. Um, as you can see, this is this is pretty much what you're gonna get. And then from there, the most important thing that you wanna note is where you have it located from, right? So as you can see here, this is where it's found uh, because especially, you know, you wanna copy this or, you know, just take note of where it would be. All right, so once we're done with that, we can go ahead and switch over to Civil 3D. So now note that this, I've already you know imported the geolocation. This is assuming you already done all that. This video is just to show you how to put Inforks in, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open a model, right? Let's go ahead and click this little search icon here to just go search it. Now, notice, notice kind of like the way that it goes. It goes from Inforks, uh, Inforks model, we do all the X360, and now you have all these right here. Um, you can kind of sort from, you know, you can kind of sort from like, you know, I believe is this one. Yeah. So you want to open up this, this SQL file, right? And then if you're, you got your, if you're encountering issues with the coordinate system, uh, one, you can try one of two things. Either you could change the coordinate system to match one or the other, or you can, um, just to start over and make a new new file. Um, really, it just depends on like you know whatever works best for you. Um, me personally, I would just start over if it doesn't work. Normally, it does take quite a while for it to load. Um, it is normal. Just give it a, just give it some time. Right, so now we have this. Uh, we also don't want to use the whole extent. So what we're going to do is we're going to redefine our selection, uh, mainly because it will bring in rows and all other stuff that isn't really pertained to the project. You know, we could take away the, the existing transportation. Uh, we've already took away the planning roads. You just want to keep the existing ground. That's all you want, right? So then now we go ahead, open the model. And then boom, there you go. Now then from here is literally just, you could kind of open here and you could see that now your, your existing surface is here. Um, and then from here, you're just gonna edit the surface style, you know, basically make it to, you know, display, you know, whatever you want. Uh, that's how you could change it there, as well as surface properties. Obviously you could change it from design, you know, you can make it to, you know, background. Apply and there you go. And that is how you import a surface from InfoWorks into Civil 3D to use on your project.